Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Well, I've got a big canvas today and I've stood my camera as high as I can get it on a tripod and it's still, this is the big canvas. It's a 101 by 76. So it's a huge canvas and I wasn't going to film it because I can't get the whole canvas, but I'm going to film what I can and um, see how I go. So this is a commission and the commission was to get the same colors as my little test pour that I did for this one. That was the test pour that I did. I haven't glossed it or anything yet, but this was what um, was fallen in love with and they asked me to do. So I'm gonna really try to create this except the brief was not so many cells so I'm not sure if I can do not so many cells I've only put one um, I've only put one one drop of silicone in these much bigger cups that I, these big big huge cups um, so I've only got one drop of silicone in each one so as I try not to uh, produce too many cells so you know i'm just going on a wing and a prayer and hoping that everything goes well so to start with i'm just going to cover the whole canvas first of all with my white paint and then i'll do my layers over that so i'll try and speed this bit up of me covering the white paint if i can edit when it comes to it um so he goes people bear with me wish me luck because this is a big one um and i'll explain as i go along anything i need to explain so just to start with i've just got white like i said so i'm just oh i'll have to be working right around the table with this one um i'm gonna try and spread it probably easier much easier to spread with my fingers so this camera's going to take up a lot, a lot of paint. And no, I haven't measured. I've just made big, loads of big cups of paint. If I run out of paint, I'll just mix white up. But I shouldn't do, so I'm not, I just, I'm not into the measuring things. And so it's not precise, but I'm going to give it a go. So I'm going to just finger, rub it all over with my, well, basically finger painting like you're back at kindergarten again, but just, just to rub all this instead of going over uh, slowly with a spatula, this will be, this works absolutely fine for me doing it this way. So I have no worries, no worries. Okay. This is my normal, um, mix with the 70% glue 30% I add 30% warm water to my um, when I'm making up my pouring medium with the PVA glue so my stock is for my glues and all the uh, products that I use in my um, paints are in the link on the bottom of the video They have stockists for the Montmartre paint that I'm using and uh, in the US and Canada and that's there's a there's a link on the bottom of the underneath this video for that also so you should be able to find it. anybody that can't find anything that's in the UK or Europe may have to just Google and then it's usually found on Amazon or eBay all the products so I'm using the Montmartre Studio Acrylics and I'm using the Helmar silicon but like I said only a very small amount um, just doing all the sides okay probably could have done this bottom coat a little bit thinner um, hoping that it doesn't 
try to dry off too quick because I've got an air conditioner on. if needed. Just water that down a little bit, a wee bit. Okay. Oop, gone and splashed on my canvas but that's absolutely fine. Just added a little bit of water to thin this other cup of white. I've got another big cup of white here but I'll use it as I go along just was getting a bit I thought it could do with being a little bit thinner so 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 just run that bit in there any bits that I can see a bit lumpy not too worried it will all work out in the end okay I'm going to start with my this is a little bit of purple. This is the Montmartre purple. I did add a little bit of dark blue into this and a little bit of the dark red. Just like it, the deeper purple. Not sure if the new colours that Montmartre are coming out with have a, a oh, I think they do, yes, a crim, crimson. Crimson. Yeah, trying to work a really big canvas, probably not ideal when you're filming because I really need to concentrate on it, but hopefully I will get there. Oop. Okay. Lobby, but that's fine. It's all going to be perfect when it's all tilted around each, each every which way. Okay, we go for the beautiful orange. Maybe do with a, a little bit, like to do them a little bit thinner when I'm working on such a big canvas so they don't start to dry off so quick because we're having really hot weather here in Australia. Um, so I like to do them a bit thinner and so I can, they're easy to tilt. But having this white underneath uh, is, um, allows it to kind of slide over the white when I'm tilting, so it's a lot easier. Thank you guys for subscribing. To all that have subscribed, I am absolutely, uh, I think I'm on 31,000 today, so that's unbelievable um, you know just plod along and try my best to do these videos and, and hope that well I do know that because of the messages that I've had that people are enjoying them and they're learning from them and that's all that I can really hope for uh, we'll go the deep red which is the um, it's called brilliant red this nice big fat jumbo stick that I found. found I think they come in a pack of 10 but I um, hadn't seen them that big before but they're great when you're working with these really big cups big fat cups so and I get it all in there well today is I don't know whether this video I've got today but um, today is Australia Day so it's January the 26th uh, lots of people are celebrating doing different things we celebrated with friends last night at their place and had a meal get together a lot of laughs so that was nice and we all go out today down the park just to listen to a band playing oh here's my husband now so I'm gonna make another cameo appearance John they seem to my my subscribers seem to like it when you make an appearance here 
<laughs> you look like a mad scientist today. Oh, a mad scientist. Just Why say it. orange? Yeah, is that your orange, is it? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I said it before. John's going to paint his um, hovercraft that he's doing up in the in the orange and yellow, wasn't yep. it? With the uh, glisten in it. But, yeah, I was just saying, if, look at where I've had to put my... Yeah. I can't get the um, tripod any higher than that to do this particular... Oh, we can do something. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to have your help, dear, and try and, um, yeah, fix something up higher so the, the bigger canvases I can get all the way into. So, yeah, this is mad crazy, poor, isn't it? But this is um, trying to emulate or copy that, not that it'll ever be the same, but similar to that one there, the mm. colours are anyway. But just a giant size canvas. Might be enough. Be good. Yes. Did you need to talk to me or do I need to? <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't need to talk to me. <laughs> oh dear. I could do this all over your um, no. hovercraft and do no. a pour on it. What, what no. about that? No. You could bring the shell up here and I could pour on it for you darling okay i'll see you later okay see you later <laughs> it's getting out quick smart you're getting too uncomfortable thinking i'm going to pour on his beloved um hovercraft okay i'm just going to pour a bit more white on this um and i think you can probably guess what color i'm going to swipe with so i'm going to do a swipe through the center because just look at the size of the canvas it's be very difficult to do oh, a few of the other techniques that we all like to do but yeah so I'm either going to end up with paint all over the floor so then I'll have to stop and um, move on <laughs> uh, do something clean up or something okay I am going to Gently, I've just got plastic. I'm just going to gently tilt this whole canvas, but you kind of have to be very careful because it's big and you don't want to like let it warp one way or another. So just, just a gentle, just take it easy, just relax. If you're doing a big canvas, you've really, really got to just enjoy the process. Just let the paint do its thing. So I'm just sort of gently tilting down the other end. So maybe that might be the go is to tilt off both ends first. Just putting, keeping your hands underneath to support the whole canvas. I have put a little piddle pad in the center of this canvas to, so as it doesn't sag. Um, it's taking quite a while to move this and I thought that I'd Obviously, should have done it maybe a little bit thinner because, yeah, it's taken a while, but I'll just bear with it. Uh, go back over the other side. Oh, okay, got plenty on tipped off to do my corners. Uh, I will absolutely, when this is finished and dried, I will put a little video of it on my Acrylic Art by Jilly Cube Facebook page so you can all see the dried, finished version of it. I know a lot of people that watch the YouTube channel say, you know, like to see the finished version. Well, I usually always put a little video on my uh, Acrylic Art page, on Acrylic Art by Jilly Cube Facebook page of finished pieces, the ones that people have asked me to see, um, asked to see finished, asked me to see, oh my goodness, going a bit, um, and just tilt gently, I'm going to tip the paint in my drawer by the look of it, I'll go down this way, so yeah, when you're working with a big canvas, it, it is far better to have two people, um, one on either side just tilting you know together I suppose I should have held John back for that I said wait help me tilt he has helped me before but then he starts to get to say well maybe you should do this and maybe you should do that 
and you know when it's your art space and your art, you need to do your own thing and not be told. Um, sometimes, obviously, it's nice to hear constructive um, advice about that you think, oh yeah, that probably would work, but I'm not doing it today. <laughs> but sometimes it's just better to just go on your own sweet way just covering just finger popping the corners remember I've got the white on them so I'm not too concerned because there's paint there um, just to add so it's just running your fingers underneath your canvas and just making sure you've got any area that's missing I've got fairly got a lot of paint missing from down this end so I will have to tilt back over to this corner um, yeah, Looks, does look like a crazy Santa's spewed one ag again today. <sighs> come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I think I should have done the paints a lot thinner because they're taking such a long time to tilt. And when you've got such a heavy canvas to start with, but I think I might not tilt down there any further because I'm going to have all the paint sitting. I'll just pour a bit of paint over that corner. So I just want to re-center the paint again. Just try and re-center it. So, okay, come back up here. I can't believe I've had a fly appear. Oh, fly appear. And I've got all the doors shut got an air conditioner on and a fly like they just know it's gonna try and I'm not too worried about just putting the paint over the baldy bit that I've got there with this spatula because I will be a balloon doing some balloon work on it so it will cover all that up so that's all good all good the spatula looks nice doesn't it <laughs> leave that like that all good 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 so so just having to walk around it yeah it's um it is a biggie i have done this size several times and i think i did once on the video previous um just gonna pour a bit of okay you're all still with me you're not gone to sleep yet um for those that just hate long videos because you obviously have comments about those um just fast forward it if you want to continue watching if you don't that's all good it's all good oh okie doke so i'm going to swipe with me lemon now not sure whether I should thin that down slightly. I'll just see how we go. So I'm going to put that through there and I'm going to put another little line because it has to stretch so far. So I'll put another line. This is going to be a big sparkler, isn't it? It's going to be a big, bright baby. Ooh. That was wonky because I've got all these things, obstacles around my table, tripod and things that I've got to kind of work around. Okay, here goes the big swipe I'm going to do with my trusty um, soft plastic file dividers. Oh, I've got two new ones. There you go. Um, soft plastic file dividers. So after each swipe, just wipe, wipe off for sure. So I'm just dropping it into the paint about one centimetre and then just draw it to you nice and slowly over the top of the paint basically not scraping the paint off. Okay well I don't think this is going to come like that little one. Funny because they were all the same colours. Um, but I might be wrong, I might be wrong. They're all the same colours, but again, it's you can't get the layering exactly the same when you're tilting it around. And So I suppose that's what the thing is with art from an artist. Never, uh, it's never too exactly the same like you get from 
reproduction prints. Okay. Now remembering that this re for this I was not to get too many cells, so I'm just hoping that they are kept to a minimum minimum. Just trying to wipe my sheet off. Whereas it just be easier enough if I just get a new sheet for this side. Yeah, just I just love these soft plastic file dividers for swiping. They're just the best little tool. You know, they're they're not they just kind of put the right amount of pressure on your paint. Like they're not too heavy and not too light. They're just right. I'm going a bit wonky here, but that's absolutely fine because if you know me, you know I don't I'm not a lover of straight lines or symmetrical I like maybe like the odd <laughs> husband reckons that's why I like him because he's odd oh now I've gone a bit haywire there because I've got my thing attached to the table that's got to work around but that's fine because I'll be doing balloon rolling and kissing in this one for sure that was the request, so it was more balloon rolls than cells, so there you go. You know how much I love my balloon work, doing all sorts of things with the balloon just lately, so watch out for those videos coming up soon. Balloon magic, okay. going to be a long video so there's going to be some people that whinge about it but please just spin it on if you're not into it so I am going to because this is a big one I'm going to just go over it with my butane torch instead of my uh, little heat wand so because I can reach right across and I oh, don't want too many cells so hey oh probably an impossibility but like I said I've put only one one um, drop of silicone in those big cups so of the Helmar so 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 they are coming nice little cells actually so A lot of paint on this so it's going to take a while to um, dry off before I will balloon roll it but very bright and vibrant so okay I'm gonna that's it, enough because look at the cells I'm getting like this I really have to sing the praises of this I, I don't get any fee commission or free silicon from Halmar uh, but it is excellent for what we do and that is one drop of silicone in the big oh in the big cups so one drop has done that but when I've put no silicone I don't get any so or very few so there you go so I'm going to leave it for a few probably I will leave this now for a good half an hour and come back and see how we're going and I just hope no more cells actually develop because the request was not many cells but I think oh gosh one one blob of silicon has done that okay guys I 
I've only left this a little while because it's drying pretty quickly in parts. Um, I, I've, as you see, I've done a few balloon rolls. I'm going to continue doing just a few on camera and then there'll be photos at the end to show you what the end product is. But I've got to work um, yeah, on this kind of right now. So even though some of the paint is falling back in, that's perfectly fine. Uh, I can work with that. So I'm just going to continue going around the canvas and uh, using my balloon for rolling, pushing, shoving, whatever I can do with it uh, to get the nice effects in it. Just getting my paper towel ready to um, use on my, for my balloon. So, because there can be really long rolls in this, really intricate, here, there and everywhere type things, because it's so, such a big canvas to work on. Just trying my best. Okay, they're sort of looking like big feathers all over it, big gorgeous feathers. Oh, look at that blue coming through, my goodness, and the orange. Gorgeous. Really, really lovely. Okay. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Still get excited every time, yes I do. <laughs> yeah. That is a lot of paint. <laughs> Seems to be a lot of paint down that one end, so obviously when I tilted it, I never give it a tilt enough back because there seems a lot of paint down this end to that end. Um, so I mean, I can leave this a little bit longer to doing any more work on the balloon, but I do it more so up this area where I can, you know, feel that the paint has dried more. Or well, there's less paint, should I say. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, let me do in towards so they see how that goes. In towards the Ooh. Kind of looks like a bird going through there. I don't particularly like that trail that I've left there, but that's easily fixed with um, a skewer. So, not not the pointy end of the skewer, the sort of round end. You just trace it through so as it doesn't look like it just looks like a nice effect in there. Even you can trace off these wings. Just keep wiping your skewer so you don't get muddy bits. So the fine, just fine traces off, just adds another little bit of interest to your work. Yeah, this is way too thick this end, so I might, I will definitely leave this to come back and do some more ballooning when that's dried a little bit. And I'll fiddle, and I'll fiddle just doing some little swizzles and things on it. So I think I've uh, given you guys the gist of, um, oh, maybe when a cropper. Um, giving you a gist of what I'm working on and what it's like to work on a big canvas. 
Um, I'm really happy how this is progressing, so I hope you guys have had fun with me. I will try and uh, sort of uh, right over, right over this way. I will probably do it with my other, I will take a video with my phone. I'll probably get more on it than this. So thanks guys for joining me. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time, and next time it won't be a really big canvas like this. Thank you.